image inside of God's likeness. And one last thing, thing to ponder, you know, you know, the Luke 15, I think it was, it's just the thing of lost things. You know, the shepherd lost his sheep. The woman lost her what? Coin. The father lost his what? Son. But think of it this way. That sheep never ceased to be the shepherd's. That coin, even though it was lost, was always the woman's. That son was always the father's. And what, the, what happened there, it was called displacement. They were displaced. And same thing, your loved ones right now may be displaced out there in the world. Your kids, your loved ones may be displaced. Understand that they're still gods. They are still gods. I'm thankful today that while I was still yet sinning, while I was still yet as a sinner, God sent his son to go on the cross and to die for my sins. While I was still out there in my pride and my arrogance, <laughs> Jesus died for my sins. Because why? Because I was still his regardless. And so understand today that those loved ones out there, they're just displaced. That drunk out there, he's just displaced. That woman out there, they're just displaced. They don't know where they are yet, yet but they're going to know. Amen. But God is so good. My wife. Amen. God is good. Amen. We got off work and came straight here. <laughs> My husband's like, how fast can even when we get there, you know, and, and I started uh, teaching at one of the schools out there in White River, so I teach first grade now at the same school my kids go to, and it's been awesome, you know, because uh, we've been in White River for just over four years, and my kids can speak almost better Apache than some of the Apache kids, <laughs> and so I told my husband, I said, I kind of laughed because the Apache teacher says, okay, yeah, your kids are Apache, <laughs> So I just laugh and say, and our youngest daughter, she was born there. So my husband being Pueblo, you know, she was named Apache Flower. And so at church, they call her Quail because she pops up and down in between the chairs and just kind of runs around everywhere. And, and so we've, you know, we're, God's really been, you know, just moving, you know, and we're thankful. We're thankful for what God is doing. And um, it's nice to see my husband's handiwork. I mean, my <laughs> Uh, my husband, my dad, was actually the person who taught him. <laughs> so that was actually how we met. So he gets to go on all the fun trips. I stay home with the four kids, but he gets to go on all the fun trips. So everyone's like, yeah, we got to see your husband. And he does like, really? Must be nice. <laughs> so it's good to see all of your smiling faces. It's good to be out. It's good to be in church. And it's awesome to have an opportunity to worship God. Amen. Amen. If the brother won't be too intimidated to play for me. <laughs> uh, a minor?
Yes, yes, Lord. Glory. You're not like everybody else. See, I, I stopped caring about whether I was like everybody else a long time ago. My husband and I have been married almost 15 years. Four kids later, I don't really care if I'm like everybody else. <laughs> because I've realized, even in my young age, I've realized that my walk is not everybody else's walk. My calling is not everybody else's calling. My marriage is not everybody else's marriage. My children are not your children. But I am on my own path. See, I am on my own walk. So I have to be accountable to God for me. For me. Sometimes we allow the burden of our family and our friends and our boss and our jobs and our kids to get in the way. And see, a lot of times God is saying, that's not for you. Leave it there and focus on what I have for you.
say he loves us. He loves us. Hallelujah. In the melody. Thank you, Lord Jesus.
Yeah.